Hey guys and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be talking about the canon and a lot of underground information that relates to it. I hope you guys enjoy. The Dwarf Multi-Cannon is a ranged weapon unlocked after completion of the Dwarf Cannon quest. From training ranged on a PK account or using it to double your Slayer XP rates, this is the most effective and widely used weapon in the entire game. Unlike other weapons, it is not subject to your weapon cooldown. It operates in the same way as you see on screen now, rotating and firing cannonballs at attackable opponents. It does not attack other players. In many situations, the cannon can do damage to multiple enemies in a notably short space of time. It also has a maximum hit of 30 per hit, or 35 with granite cannonballs. This makes it a very efficient method to achieve high Slayer XP rates and passive ranged XP with certain Slayer tasks. This is the only weapon that can deal player attributed damage to an NPC without offering hit points experience. Perhaps the most controversial topic about the cannon is how its damage is calculated. First off, it's important to recognize the universal way that damage is calculated in RuneScape. For every hit done to an opponent, the accuracy is calculated in the form of a probability. Then this accuracy chance is used to see if the hit is a hit or a miss. Pretend it's like a balanced die is rolled. If you land on 1 through 5, you hit, but if you hit 6, you miss. If it's a miss, then the damage dealt will be 0. If it's a hit, then the damage dealt will be from 0 to your max hit. Max hit is obviously a much more complicated thing, and there are links down below that allow you to calculate yours. But for the cannon, it's very simple. Like I said before, it's 30 or 35 with granite cannonballs. Now that you know how damage is calculated in general, Let's talk about the accuracy calculation for a cannon. The JIGX moderators don't like to reveal how accuracy is calculated for attack styles, probably because this could lead to an oversaturation of game knowledge and potentially abuse of certain quirks. But the best PVMers of the game have come together and created a few accuracy formulas, which is in a forum thread linked below. At the moment, I do not know the exact formulas that determines cannon accuracy. If this changes, I will update this in the description. However, I do know what variables impact the cannon's accuracy, just not the impact of each. Overall, your accuracy with the cannon is based on your effective accuracy of the style of combat that you are manually using. If you are wielding a melee weapon, the accuracy will be based on your effective melee accuracy. If you are wielding a ranged weapon, the accuracy will be based on your effective ranged accuracy. Your effective accuracy is based on your equipment stats, level in that stat, prayer bonus, potion bonus, and last and least, attack style in your combat interface. I do not know how important each factor is in the cannon accuracy formula, but I am assuming that is the priority order for how it is calculated. As you can achieve a maximum equipment stat bonus of 239 in ranged, and only 182 in melee, ranged is the equipment meta if you're just using your cannon to attack. In most situations though, in Slayer for example, it's melee, as you get a great deal of ranged XP from cannoning already. Now let's talk about efficiency. The game is chopped up into game ticks, a unit of time that is generally about 0.6 seconds in RuneScape. However, the duration of a game tick changes. The higher quality the server, the faster a game tick is. The more stress that is placed on a server, aka the more people that are using it, the slower a game tick becomes. This has ties to efficiency. Basically, if you play on a better server with less people, you can get higher XP rates per hour. The best servers are UK servers, and World 365 is the UK's best server quality to player ratio. For the US, it's 362, for Germany, it's 336, and for Australia, it's 387. Keep in mind that these can and will change as updates to server hardware and world activities occur. I did a test incidentally with the cannon's rotations and found that these values on screen are how long each tick is in the worlds 329 and 365. The difference is about 0.03%, but I believe that every system update purges a great deal of variables that were created throughout the week. This increases server quality and makes game ticks on Thursdays the fastest out of any day of the week if this is true. On a Tuesday, before the system update, my friend Michael found a difference of about 1.5% between two worlds. He actually helped me make the conclusions I've come to, and he makes a ton of really interesting and informative videos about RuneScape. If you want to know some very useful information about the game, by far the best way to do so is to watch his concise videos and subscribe for the future ones. Really do give him a shot at the very least. 
His videos and channel are the first links in the description. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed or learned anything, consider giving the video a like and subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you.